class of 2017, I would like to welcome our guests, parents, relatives, and school staff as we celebrate this very special occasion. I have a few introductions to make. I would like to recognize our guests on stage. And as I call their name, I will ask them to stand. And please hold your applause until the end. Vice Chair, Dr. Paige Sayers. And she represents at large. Mr. Bernard Hall, District 1. Mr. Tommy, please remain standing. Mr. Tommy Piper, District 2. Mrs. Deborah Brody, District 4. Mrs. Rosemary Champion, at large. Mr. Gil Johnson, District 5. And now our central office staff, Dr. Pascal Mabingo, the superintendent, Dr. Rhonda Shula, the associate superintendent of curriculum and instruction, Mr. Danny Williams, chief of human resources, Dr. Larry Webb, executive director of auxiliary services, and Mrs. Laureen Jones, Director of Technical and Vocational Education. Bond High School Administrators, <coughs> Mrs. Caroline Linka, Assistant Principal, Mr. Daniel Wright, Assistant Principal. And now I would like to ask that the teachers and faculty members of Bond High School please stand at this time so you can be recognized.
of the class of 2017. I want to start off by saying it's been an honor to serve as your student body president this year. It was rough at times, but I wouldn't trade that for any of the world. Our senior year could not have been more successful. And a super huge shout out goes to my right hand man and your senior class president, Michaela Gomez. I'm so thankful I had her and her creative mind by my side, especially in the super stressful moments. Also, a thank you goes out to Dr. Daniels for providing me with this opportunity to speak for in front of my class one more time. So I'm not gonna stand here and give you a sappy speech about moving on or letting go. You guys are probably tired of crying and you're ready to leave, so I'll make this as short and sweet as possible. Graduation. In the dictionary, it's defined as getting a diploma or academic degree or the ceremony that is sometimes associated with it in which students become graduates. To us, it's just known as the day we've waited for all this time, just to wear a funny looking hat and receive a handshake and a piece of paper. This is a day that we celebrate all of our successes over the last 13 years of school. But you know, success is not a destination. The actual doing is much more important than the outcome. You see, success does not lie in the results, but in the efforts that get you there. Take the ones of you going into the military, for example. Could any of you get into the Marines, the Army, the Navy, Coast Guard, or Air Force without taking your ASVAB, attending your PTs, filling out your piles of paperwork, only to then go to boot camp to earn your title? That is your journey. Your success comes from everything you do that leads up to earning that title. To all of my fellow nursing majors out there, can we earn the title of RN without taking our boards and practicing in hospitals and doing hours of studying in our dorm rooms? No, not necessarily. So class, be thankful for the hard times. They make you stronger, and they're going to help you along your journey to success. I encourage you all to be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. Not literally on fire, but you understand what I'm getting at here. So your success is not going to come to you. You have to go to it. Now with your success comes failure. You're never going to get everything perfect, and that's the brutal truth of life. What was that Instagram bio that we all used back in the seventh grade? You fall down seven times, you stand up eight. Now take that and apply it to your everyday life. You should all let your failure be your motivation to succeed. Because you know what? The real failure is when you stop trying for your goal. A wise man from the greatest department on earth spoke to us at baccalaureate on Sunday. He said, we all fail and are going to fail. It's how we react that shows who we really are. Do not let your failures define you. And then, one of the best teachers who I personally have ever had told us on the last day at Bunn High School, adversity is your universe. Remember class, your failures are merely bruises, not tattoos. So I encourage you all to stand up that eighth time and don't miss your chances to succeed. I hope you all find your happiness, whether it be in a person, a place, or your job, whatever it may be. Make everything that you do worth it. Keep all of your dreams big and your worries small. Today is gonna to be the last day that we're all together. And I'm not saying we're all gonna die before our reunions. I'm saying not all of us are gonna return. 
between moving, jobs, school, and new lives, we're not all going to return as a whole body. So take a look around. Embrace this moment before we walk across the stage. As students, we spent the last 13 years of our lives in this little town. We grew up knowing that we had a chance between Subway or Chinese after ball games. <laughs> we knew that around 6 o'clock on homecoming day, the entire stretch of the single street that runs through Bun is going to be shut down. And you knew that if you couldn't find anyone on a Friday night, you can bet that they're at the football stadium. It's a tradition. This town, this class, this school, is this family. Mark Twain said, the two most important days in your life are the day you're born and the day you find out why. Some of us are going to go to college, some of us in the military, and some straight to work. Wherever we may end up, I look forward to seeing all of you succeed in life because I know you all have it in you. You all have the strength to stand up that eighth time. And someday, we're going to talk about the good old days. We're going to tell our kids and our grandkids about the time that Jake hid under Miss Perry's desk. <laughs> or the day we all ripped up our AP Biology test on April Fool's Day and Miss Perry freaked out about copies. <laughs> Possibly even the time Chad shaved his eyebrows for retweets. <laughs> or when we threw flour in our spirits wet for snow and we were all a mess the rest of the day. Or maybe even that one time we made fun high school history for being the only class to win the float competition four years in a row. We left our mark on Bun High School and each other. We made history, we set records, started traditions, and we all had the best time doing it. In the midst of the excitement of life, don't forget to help, to remember who helped you get there. A personal shout out goes to my mom and dad. I couldn't be here without you guys. My super talented aunts who never failed to support me. My little brother who always gives me a good laugh when I need it and the friends that have helped me survive the last four years. Today, for the most of us, is going to be a goodbye forever. For others, it's going to be a see, see you soon. However, I fully expect to see you guys again in 2027 for our 10 year reunion. <laughs> Class of 2017, the 90s saved the best for last. But in conclusion, I want to take a moment to remember someone who should be here to walk across the stage with us today. Unfortunately, he was taken from us too soon. A son, a brother, a fellow senior classmate, and as some of you say, a beau. Will you all join me in a moment of silence for John Perry? Thank you. Congratulations, class, and I know you all are going to succeed in this life. At this point in the program, we're going to make a special presentation. On December 5th, 2016, the class of 2017 lost one of our own. On that day, Bun High School lost a student, a classmate, a friend. It was on that day that Jonathan Perry was taken away from us by a tragic accident. It was sad that he is not physically here with us to celebrate this joyous occasion. However, he will always be here with us in memory. To honor his memory and to celebrate his achievement in school, Bun High School would like to present his diploma to his mother, Millie Perry. Good afternoon. Congratulations to the class of 2017. It has been a true honor to be your assistant principal this year. At this time, I would like to direct your attention to the insert in your program as I recognize students for their outstanding achievements while at Bun High School. I would like to begin with our high honor graduates. These students are wearing a white core and have a grade point average of 4.2 or higher. Students, 
When I call your name, please stand and face the audience. Audience, please hold your applause until all names are called. Grayson Asa, Cassidy Askew, Ryan Callahan, Kyle Champion, Aaron Collier, Marissa Daniels, Amanda Dean, Chance Dennis, Courtney Earls, Taylor Ellis, Hunter English, Noelle Griffin, Tabitha Holmes, Heidi Lotta, Mason Makar, Joy McLeod, Alexis McPhail, Isaiah Ortega, Caitlin Page, Sarah Pierce, Natalie Quick, Jacob Sharon, Jonathan Thomason, Olivia Wagner, Faith Weathers, and Anna Wood. Let's give them a round of applause. Next we will honor, we will recognize honor graduates. These students are wearing a gold cord and have a grade point average of 3.5 to 4.0. Students, when I call your name, please stand and face the audience. Audience, please hold your applause until all names are called. Chad Baker, Lauren Bell, Lyric Brown, Michaela Brown, Mariah Campbell, Cassidy Colbert, Allison Davis, Kayla Durrett, Nadia Etienne, Lydia Edders, Caitlin Bearclaw, Michaela Goins, Chantel Green, Caitlin Hernandez, Tyler Hornick, Alyssa Kearney, Jalen Kelly, Charles Kimball, Sergio Salazar, Milton Lopez, Brianna Monroe, Jacob Moore, Christian Murray, Charles Owens, Madison Richardson, Michaela Stoddard, Bobby Thorne, Jason Van Hook, and Bradley Wood. <laughs> Students that are North Carolina academic scholars have an unweighted grade point average of 3.5 or higher and have taken advanced courses throughout high school. Students, when I call your name, please stand and face the audience. Audience, please hold your applause until all names are called. Grayson Asa, Cassidy Askew, Ryan Callahan, Kyle Champion, Aaron Collier, Marissa Daniels, Amanda Dean, Chance Dennis, Hunter English, Lydia Edders, Noelle Griffin, Tabitha Holmes, Heidi Lotta, Sergio Salazar, Milton Lopez, Joy McLeod, Alexis McPhail, Isaiah Ortega, Caitlin Page, Sarah Pierce, Jacob Sharon, Faith Weathers, and Anna Wood. At this time, I would like to also recognize honors for academic excellence and involvement in school clubs. So students, when I call your group, please stand and face the audience. Audience, please hold your applause. Students wearing a pink cord are receiving honors for music. Please stand. And let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> students that are wearing a purple and silver cord are members of the National Technical Honor Society. Students, please stand and face the audience. <laughs> Students that are wearing a gold stole are members of the Bun High School Beta Club. Students, please stand and face the audience. <laughs> Students that are wearing a black Board, our members of our student council. Students, please stand. <laughs> Students that are wearing a multicolored cord are members of the National Art Society. Students, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Students
Students that are wearing a red cord are members of the Spanish Honor Society. Students, please stand. <laughs> Students that are wearing a blue and white cord are members of Rho Kappa National Social Studies Honor Society. Students, please stand to be recognized. Congratulations, let's give these students another round of applause. The common decisions you will make determine the rest of our lives. So I say to you, choose widely the decisions you choose to make endeavors you choose to pursue. While I will never, quite likely never see some of you again as we head our separate ways, I hope you can take from me what I say here today. If you take nothing more from this, believe me when I say you can make it someday. You've made it this far, so who's to say what can stop you now? I don't know what each goal you have set for you, yourselves in your lives, but let me share mine since I have the chance, and I hope you will agree. My ultimate goal in my life is to be happy. Happiness isn't measured in material objects, but rather in the smiles that we share with the people around us. I've always said, it's easy to make someone smile in your presence, but leave them with a feeling that will make them smile even when you're gone. I hope somewhere throughout high school I was able to put that smile on each of your faces and leave you with something, some of you with this feeling. However you measure happiness, that doesn't mean you'll enjoy every moment of every day. You'll have your ups and downs, and that's life. But when that alarm clock goes off each morning, you'll be glad it does. For that is the sound of waking up to another beautiful day on this earth. Another beautiful day to make the most of and be surrounded by the ones you love. Every day is what you make of it, so make it a good one. Over this journey that has led us here, I'd like to thank the parents, teachers, friends, and everyone who helped us along the way. A special shout out to the parents who step up to the plate each and every day to make the best lives possible for their children. I stand before you today because of my success, and I'm here to tell you it wouldn't have been possible without my wonderful, loving mother. Thank you. And to the class of 2017.
Friends, family, and guests, I would also like to thank you for coming out today to celebrate this monumental event with us. So, could we get a ple uh, please get a round of applause for all of you? <laughs> to the class of 2017, I'm standing before you today, incredibly honored to speak a few words of encouragement. Well, it's 846 words to be exact, and I thought I'd tell you that so you can count down with me. <laughs> Think with me for a moment. When you hear the word consequence, what do you think? Do you think of getting lunch detention because you had to one-up the teacher? Do you think of, uh, do you think, oh, sorry. <laughs> do you think of failing a test because that 10 minute power nap turned into the next morning? Or maybe even losing that match because you're overcome? See, there's a pattern. When we hear the word consequence, we tend to think of only negative things. But that's not always true. Alfred A. Monopert once said, nobody ever did or ever will escape the consequences of his choices. For every choice we make, we will have to face a consequence, sooner or later. However, those consequences don't have to be negative. You see, a consequence is simply the result of an action, and we have the freedom to make those choices. With this in mind, everything you've chosen to do becomes a consequence. Tellingly, that makes the friends sitting next to you a consequence. They're a consequence of your talking, of your listening, your smiling, of your laughing, your crying, your hugging, and your cheering. But most importantly, they're a consequence of your love. And it may be just me, but I think there are a lot of good consequences sitting in front of me. And though the parents may know a lot more about you than I do, I think they'll agree. You have done some amazing things in your four years. You have gone to and won state titles, broken numerous records, scored some of the highest honor tests. And they have all led up to the greatest consequence of your lives so far, graduation. See, this graduation, the fact that you're sitting here today, is a consequence. The choices you made, the hours of hard work, restless nights studying, exhausting training, endless practices, and of course, those standardized tests I know none of us wanted to take. These are all the decisions you've made that led to this day, and what a day it is. We spent 720 days in school, granted a lot less for some of us. <laughs> and during those days, we made numerous choices. But those days are over, and in a few moments, you'll walk across the stage into a whole new world of challenges and obstacles. Now is the time to think of future choices, future consequences. So I'll ask again, <coughs> when you hear the word consequence, what do you think? Because now, I think a lot of different things. I think of graduating college, top of my class, with honors. I think of making it to the big league and getting drafted. I think of putting my country before me and serving this great nation. I think of starting my first job and getting a promotion or creating my own successful business business. I think of buying my first house, raising a family, and telling my kids how nerdy I was in high school, internally crying as they laughed at me. I think of retiring in New Zealand and visiting the grandkids. See, none of these consequences are negative, because over my four years at Bun, I've learned to focus on the positives, and I've let that positivity, positivity drive me to make better choices. Margaret J. Wheatley once said that without reflection, we go blindly on our way, creating an un more unintended consequences and failing to achieve anything useful. I took this to heart. My experiences here have made me think carefully about the choices I make and the decisions I also make. Because though I may not know about the consequences at the time, I know that something along the way, along the way will happen. And I want to do everything in my ability to make that something wonderful. Looking forward, there's something I want all of you to remember from today. Each and every one of you has done great things in these four short years. And even if those around you don't know it, you do. 
you know of all the choices you've made and the consequences that resulted, both the good and the bad. You know that in the years to come, you'll remember those consequences and you'll continue to succeed. You know that only you can decide the events that unfold in your future. And you know that you'll go far in life because there's no one in this world that can make choices for you. And there's no one in this world that can determine your consequences. So to the class of 2017, I couldn't have asked for a better group to walk across the stage with, and I know for certain there isn't a better group to send off into the world. We're all going to extraordinary different places, and we're going to do amazing things. As great philosopher Kanye West once said, our work is never over. So keep on working, working for a better self and a better future. So congratulations for what you've done, and congratulations for everything you're going to do. Thank you. of the uh, diplomas, allow me to remind you of the format of our program. The commencement exercise, exercises are divided into two parts. The first part is a formal ceremony, and it is a time to honor the seniors to their academic, for their academic achievement. It will take time to call 190 seven names, but each name is equally important and deserves to be heard. So we ask that you not, that you hold your cheers and your applause until all diplomas have been awarded. Now the second part of the presentation will be a celebration. After all the diplomas are called, and all the students have received their diplomas, and the charge to the class is given, then we will celebrate together. And I'm thanking you in advance for honoring the class of 2017 appropriately. Thank you. <laughs> Marshals, please come forward. Lexis Maria Anderson. Andreina Andrade Vila. Grayson Aya Franks Asa. Javel Jerome Avon. Cassidy Marie Askey. Chad Nicholas Baker. Deshaun Jomay Barrow. Adriana Stephanie Rubia. Lauren J. Bayo. Kaylee Renee Bice. Morgan Elizabeth Billings. 
Mason Hunter Borkin. Justin Lee Brantley. Maesha Jade Brooks. Adriana Michelle Brown. Lyric Anissa Brown. Michaela Jazan Brown. Richard Lee Browning II. Christopher Antoine Bumpers. Ethan Parker Burge. Evan Chip Byrne. Anthony D'Angelo Bustamante. Ryan Ward Callahan. <coughs> Mariah Lynn Campbell. Milady Campos. Malik Kennedy. Amber Nicole Carlon. Ruby Charlotte Carr. Ashley Ann Carrasco. Brandy Memory Casico. Jocelyn Melissa Castillo Guzman. Michelle Cantalon. Kyle Thomas Champion. Therese Nelson Chavez. Jasmine Autumn Clark. Tyree Antoine Cofield. Cassidy Jordan Colbert. Aaron Lee Collier. Anthony Garrison Colson. Grace Kathleen Cottrell. Jamie Lee Cowan. Caitlin Denise Cranny. Nathaniel Jerome Creekmore. Marissa Lynn Daniels. Allison Taylor Davis. Leandra Soletsis Davis. Amanda Nicole Dean. Chance McKenna Dennis. Megan Renee Dove. Victor Wayne Dunstan. <laughs> Kayla Jasmine Durrett. Sadrea Chantel Duvall. Courtney Marie Pearls. Taylor Cameron Ellis. Hunter Wade English. Nadia Grace Gazelle Ethier. 
Lydia Gale Edders. Dequante Evans. Caitlin Danielle Fairfall. Regine Brianna Basin. Tyler Keith Farrell. Courtney Michelle Bean. Dalton Lee Fleming. Jemiah Monet Fogg. Emily Nicole Foster. Carlos Roberto Garibay. Will Cameron Gay. Michaela Bea Goins. Diana Gomez Everardo. Diana Vasquez Granadas. Mariah Noel Grant. Jonathan Blake Gray. Chantel Alyssa Green. Noel Stephanie Griffin. Kristen Enrique Guzman. Christopher Enrique Guzman. Tavon Sean Harris. Tyrese Montreal Hartsfield. Shantae Terrell Hawkins. Brandon Tyler Hayes. Kishana Kasane Hedges. Jamie Mauricio Hernandez. Caitlin Taylor Hernandez. <coughs> Megan Renee Hicks. Catherine Michaela Hinkle. Lauren Page Hinton. Tabitha Brooke Holmes. Naja Cherie Holmes. Tyler John Horner. Melissa Ann Huffman. Brian Michael Husingo. Lisbeth Jacobo Molina. Ziana Zane Johnson. As a friendly reminder, please allow all graduates to be honored. Dennis Jones, Jr. Carlos Francisco Juarez Leva. Alyssa Michelle Kearney. Jalen Floyd Kelly. Charles John Richard Kimball. Samantha Lynn Kenny. 
Heidi Gail Lada. Sergio Marino Salazar. Samuel Patrick Lewis. Zachary Thomas Littman. Milton Nicholas Lopez. Jessica Nareda Lopez Hernandez. Miriam Suhe Lopez Rosado. Isaac Elliot Loman. Mayra Lugo. Mason Charles Makar. Michael Edward Martin. Christopher James Matthews. Curran Malik McFadden. Nicole Alexandra McGeechee. Joy Olivia McLeod. Alexis Shannon McPhail. Justin Lee Miller. Leslie Ann Molina. Brianna Justice Monroe. Sean Willis Moody. Deshaun Antonio Moore. Colin Albert Moore. <coughs> Jacob Joseph Moore. Kevin Lee Moss. Timothy Gray Mullen. Christian Alexander Murray. Isaiah Ortega. Charles Peyton Owens. Caitlin Michelle Page. Christopher Maurice Pankey. <laughs> Brittany Gail Hatton. Sarah Danae Pierce. Ramiro Guadalupe Perales Garcia. Destiny Tatiana Perry. Tanner Christopher Pruitt. Natalie Michelle Quick. Selena Ramirez. Ashley Elizabeth Richardson. Madison Jade Richardson. Omar Rosa. Sergio Angel Saldana de la Cruz. Courtney Marie Sanford. Cindy Margarita Serrano. 
Nancy Leanne Shanks. Kyle Ray Sharon. Jacob Henry Sharon. Naquasia Alpazina Smalls. Kendrick Smith. <laughs> Kaylin Marie Sparks. Mary Elizabeth Stevenson. Michaela Cheyenne Stoddard. Jaquan Raheem Strickland. William Strickland. Kayla Lorraine Super. Anthony Michael Gerard Thomas. Jonathan Lewis Thomason. Bobby Jane Thorne. Go get it, baby girl. Jared Nathan Tolliver. Cynthia Torres Casanata. Jason Dean Van Hook. Ruben Villa Morales. Tai Danielle Vincent. Olivia Marie Wagner. Faith Alexandra Weathers. Carly Jean Wagonist. Delaney Sue Wagonist. Dylan Rex Whitley. Brianna Alexis Whitman. Alina Brianna Charney Wilder. Jason Garrett Wilkins. You go, boy! <laughs> Dolores Amanda Williams. Shyler Williams. Jalen Javon Williamson. Joseph Daniel Willis. Derek Ray Wilson. <laughs> Anna Marie Wood. Bradley Stewart Wood. Quentin Maurice Wright. Kalud Ahmed Youssef. Class of 2017, please rise and repeat after me. With a solemn sense of responsibility, I pledge myself to hold my diploma as a sacred trust, an emblem of my obligation, 
to serve with honor to myself, to serve with honor to myself. in generous loyalty to my school, and fidelity to my fellow men. Seniors, you may now move your tassel from right to left. and staff of Bon High School with the power invested in me by the Franklin County Board of Education, I present to you 197 students who have met the requirements of the North Carolina statute, Board Statute of Education and the local requirements of the Franklin County Board of Education. I am honored to present to you Bond High School's class of 2017. 